At least 148 people were killed in Thursday's attack. The chief had reported his son missing last year and feared he had gone to Somalia. Joker said Somalia's Al Shabaab militant group claimed responsibility for the bloodbath, saying it was retribution for Kenya's sending of troops to Somalia to fight the extremists. The attackers separated Christian students from Muslim ones and massacred the Christians. The news that one of the gunmen was Kenyan highlights the challenges faced by the government in preventing terrorist attacks. The danger comes not only from neighboring Somalia but also from within Kenya. Kenyans make up the largest number of foreign fighters in Al-Shabaab, according to experts. Hundreds of Kenyan youths have trained with Al-Shabaab and then returned to Kenya, posing a major security threat, according to former police chief Matthew Itier.